Well, a famous old New Zealand warplane has arrived back in the country along with its pilot and owner who's just as famous in aviation circles. Ray Hanna, a New Zealander who joined the RAF more than 50 years ago, has bought in a Curtis Kitty Hawk, which will fly at the Warbirds over Wanaka Air Show in April. The sound of the Curtis Kitty Hawk and its music to this man's ears. Ray Hanna regards old warplanes as an endangered species. In a sense, you could say that. Uh, this aeroplane, for example, uh, was on a scrap heap near Hamilton for many years after World War II. Then it was saved by some forward-thinking people. Both Hanna and the plane are here for the Warbirds over Wanaka air show at Easter. This Kitty Hawk was first used by the New Zealand Air Force during the Second World War for operational training. Eventually, it ended up in Britain. And so did Hannah. After learning to fly here, he joined the RAF in 1949 and became one of the most accomplished display pilots in the world. He's best known as the former leader of the Royal Air Force's aerobatic display team, the Red Arrows. Hannah created the old flying machine company which rebuilds warbirds and then pushes them to peacetime limits. They're uh, not easy aeroplanes to fly. They're not e easy aeroplanes to fly well. Particularly in relation to modern jet aeroplanes, these things are a lot more challenging to fly and to fly well. Tragedy struck Hannah four years ago with the death of his son Mark, who was killed when a restored Messerschmitt he was piloting crashed at a Spanish air display. Mark flew at Wanaka many times, and this year his father will return to fly the Kitty Hawk in a four-plane, close-formation aerobatic team. Afterwards, the Kitty Hawk will stay in New Zealand. Hannah believes old RNZAF aircraft are part of our heritage and should remain here in good flying condition. Bob McNeil, 3 News.